Yo, 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 yo. So, um, I'm in Aldi's right now doing a little bit of grocery shopping. And it should be common sense, but let's just be honest, a lot of us either lack common sense or we don't apply it. And it's not that we don't know certain things, it's just that we don't apply the certain things that we do know. And so sometimes it takes others encouraging us to do the right thing. So I want to encourage something that's common sense. And um, the food that we're eating is killing us. The food that we are eating is killing us. So I'm gonna show you how or what your grocery cart should look like when you are doing grocery shopping. Majority of the stuff that's in your grocery cart should not be processed stuff, highly processed stuff. That should not be the bulk of what's in your grocery cart. The bulk of what's in your grocery cart should not be meat. It should not be sugary drinks, snacks and all this other stuff. I'm gonna show you what the bulk of what should be in your grocery cart and what you should be putting in your body. Because I'm, I'm here to tell you, go research it. Think about this, we spend the most money in America on healthcare, but the sicknesses that we have rivals what we consider third world countries. So we're spending so much money on healthcare because we are so sick and the reason that we are sick is because what we are eating, and there are other factors to that, but it's what we're putting in our body that's killing us, literally. And they're purposely doing it because we are allowing them to do it. This is why you see the push for organic food, um, you know, more healthier type of food or whatever, because they ended to make money. So they're gonna give the people what they want. So I'm gonna let y'all look at my card and show you how your card should at least somewhat look like this. So we got a lot of people in here, so I'm gonna try to get out the way and show y'all, show y'all what's going on. Okay, y'all see we got some um, grapes. I'm gonna just run through it. We got some sweet potatoes, spinach, you gotta have those greens. We got some organic bananas, tomatoes, pistachios avocados we got our some more green beans some organic green beans uh, I got some uh, broccoli got about four bags of broccoli I think and some of you are saying man I can't afford this man this stuff is organic well if you can't afford organic then don't buy it but at least you know, buy fruits and vegetables. We got some white potatoes. Some people don't like that. that your body may not be able to handle that. Um, we got some peaches, some plums, some nectarines, some strawberries, some blueberries. I do got some orange juice. Some concentrate. This is a... Um, one of them is mango, the other one is pineapple. I got some apples. And the worst thing I got in here, I'm gonna get to that in a minute. The worst thing that I got in here is this. These chicken and avocado rolls. So they got these um, burgers, these veggie burgers, quinoa, and they're pretty good, you know. I'm really picky when it comes to these type of uh, veggie burgers because a lot of them be nasty. These are pretty good. Now, some of you, you can't handle the concentrated form of juice. So don't get the concentrated form, get the one that's not from concentrate. That's not concentrated. Because what happens is, let's say this is what it, it is concentrated. It takes so many oranges to make this. So your body cannot handle the sugar rush that you're pretty much putting into it because you're eating all this other sugar in with processed food. So your sugar intake, your sugar level is already high and then you come behind and you drink this 
and you think it's the juice when no, it's everything else that you're eating. Now let's get to uh, this. This is what they call the, uh, the, the not that one. The chicken of the sea. Ahi tuna steaks. You see how rare that is? That's how this is supposed to be. Also, wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. Look how rare that is. I'm gonna show you how they get y'all. You see wild caught right there, and then you see wild caught right there also. So you think these two are the same, because it says wild caught, and you see pink salmon. This is red. It's red because of what it eats. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, it's the um, the planktons that it eats. And you look at the ingredients, all it contains is salmon. No preservative, nothing. Now, on this one, look at that. It's not red, it's a pinkish color. It's pink because of what they feed it. They feed it a, a, a gray feed. And the salmon ends up being gray and then they have to give it a coloring pellets to make it this color not natural and also pink salmon is is uh something that's man-made it's man-made you want this one either the uh, uh sockeye alaskan sockeye or i forgot the other one um i cannot remember the name of it but y'all can go look it up this ain't doing nothing for you you need this now i ain't saying this ain't got no benefits but it's not as healthy as you think it is you need this one because of what it eats the red in it I'm gonna show y'all again one more time. Look at that one. One is red and one is pink. Ain't no such thing as pink salmon. This is man-made, go look it up. Go look it up. So then you got the sodas and everything. I ain't gotta tell y'all about that. Y'all need to stay away from that stuff. That stuff killing y'all. A lot of your water, you need to check it out too because your water has uh, different chemicals in it or whatnot that they, they're put, perfectly putting in the water. Um, you know, trying to, trying, to, trying to get up off of it, trying to make people sick and stuff like that. But uh, this is how you should be grocery shopping. Majority of the stuff in your cart should be really raw, organic uh, food. If you can't get raw, I mean, if you can't get organic, then at least get, like this spinach is not organic. At least get the regular stuff because it's gonna be better than all the other stuff that you're taking in. And you gotta remember that your body's gonna convert it to sugar. And so once it converts it to sugar, you're gonna get hit with a sugar rest. So you know, your sugar level is gonna be high and then you're gonna go behind and you're gonna drink all this other sugary stuff. And then you wonder why you're getting sick because then after, you, after your, your, um, your body processes and stuff, it's gonna dump it. And it's gonna go into the bloodstream and then your blood is gonna become like jelly, jello. And then your blood is not gonna be able to flow. If your blood can't flow, then it's gonna affect everything else. So the food that we're eating is literally making us sick. It is literally making us sick. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So let's do better. We know better, let's do better. All right, I also want to show y'all this with this bread. You see this? You see this long list of ingredients? Majority of that stuff you can't even pronounce. Now that's how they get people right here. No high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors or colors. Look at this. It don't take all this to make no bread. It don't take all that to make no bread. And even with some of them, the ingredient list is even longer than that. It's even longer than that. All this is to make money because these are all byproducts. A lot of stuff is byproducts from other stuff that they've made to make other stuff to make money off of it. So it don't take all this to make no bread. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all like an example of this, this bread right here. This one's pretty good. Let me show you. Let's compare the two. You see that? All this stuff is stuff you can pronounce. It's stuff you can pronounce. You can see the goodness in here with those seeds and nuts and everything. 
This bread right here is garbage. It tastes good. It's sweet. This ain't nothing but a, a big old sugar cube. Now, do I get this sometimes? I do. But I don't eat it on a regular basis. If I need to just grab something real quick, because you got to go to, um, a lot of times you got to go to specialty stores to get bread like this. So, this ain't nothing but a big old sugar cube. Majority of it. That bread would be 99 cent, a dollar. Big old sugar cube. So, what do you think you're doing when you eat this big old sugar cube? And you're eating all the rest of the sugar, and you wonder why you're sick. You're not eating. You're not eating anything that has any substance that's going to help you stay full. Them seeds are going to help you stay full. That's why they got. It. That's why it costs like four or five dollars. Look at that. All that you could pronounce. Majority of it. But you know what it is compared to this garbage right here. This is garbage compared to this. So it's the same thing with a lot of your breads. You don't want to spend the money because of how expensive it is. Even with your cookies and stuff like that. I mean, come on now, you know them cookies good. They got me wanting to buy them right now. They got your kitchen sink cookies, the toffee almond. Come on, you know you want to buy them cookies right now. The muffins, that's how, they, that's how they get you. That's a pretty good brand too. They don't have a lot of stuff in it. Or you can make your own bread, but y'all don't want to take time to do that though. Spend some time with your family. Me and my wife made bread before and it was fun. We enjoyed it. We still talk about it to this day. We are creating our own memories and not being bound by false memories. This is a false memory. Yeah, remember we were growing up, we were eating that $99 bread? That's a false memory because you're going to end up being sick and now you can't even enjoy your family.